Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. I hope that you're doing well. A little bit ago, I posted up on my community tab and I asked you guys, what are some of the worst reactions that you ever got wearing a fragrance? What was the reaction? What were you wearing? And today we're gonna to be talking about some of those, some of the worst things that you ever heard when you were wearing a fragrance and you thought you were smelling awesome, but you were actually smelling like a plumber's butt crack. So let's jump into it. Let's check these catastrophes out. Now I can empathize with everything that you're gonna hear today because over the many years that I've been collecting and wearing fragrances, it hasn't always gone well for me. Some of the internal cringe that I experienced with some of the reactions that I've had will never leave me. I'm scarred permanently for life. First up, we've got one from Mezzi. I once wore the one eau de parfum to college and the kid in front of me turned around in the middle of class and said, do you smell something disgusting? Can't figure out what it is, but it's killing me. I never wore that back to college. This highlights something, which is even sometimes with fragrances that are almost universally loved, not everyone will love them. They're almost universally loved. The One Eau de Parfum, actually for me, is one of my best compliment pulling fragrances ever. I've gotten some amazing reactions with that fragrance. It's alluring, spicy, and sweet. I think it smells fantastic, personally. Maybe not what I would think of as a college fragrance, a class fragrance, more a date night fragrance, but still yet, it typically gets amazing reactions. This one, not so good though. Almost like they rubbed it in your face a little bit. They turn around specifically to you, the person wearing the fragrance, and they go, do you smell something disgusting coming from uh, this general area? Just like right here, this area. Do you smell that? I don't know what it is, but it smells like crap. But I'm sure it's not you. Next up from Stolen, Office for Men. An older work colleague started freaking out, itching her skin in her face and claiming she could taste it in her mouth and that it was awful. I sprayed three times on my neck before entering the office, but I didn't expect that kind of reaction. She was always really dramatic, but this was a bit extra, I thought. Side note, I've had lots of really nice comments with Office for Men, especially from women, but usually quite a few hours after I sprayed on. Yeah, that does sound a bit extra, itching her face and saying she can taste it in her mouth. She could taste a little bit of Jeremy fragrance in her mouth. It does sound like drama to the next level though. I can almost imagine that you walk in with a few sprays on, you said just three, so that's not crazy crazy. You walk by this lady and she just starts immediately going, <laughs> Now I can relate to this one. Some of the worst reactions I have ever gotten have been from the office and from specifically the older ladies at the office. So you say here she was always really dramatic. Yeah, I've been there. I've talked about it a few times on the channel, but there have been ladies before with different fragrances that I've worn who will just seek me out like a heat seeking missile. They know that I've got something on and they want to come by just so they can act offended by what I've got on. It's like, what is that? I can't breathe. Nah, you can breathe. I, I, can, I can hear you talking. You're breathing fine. Now I know some people do have reactions and uh, that's, that's a different thing. Somebody that has uh, like a, an allergic type reaction to a fragrance, especially if you have one on that's you know very heavy or something like that. But the ladies I worked with, some of them, uh, it wasn't that. It was just, how can I make some drama today? Oh, I know. Up next, try and Samo. I'm guessing that's that's how you pronounce this. Worst was with Sean John Unforgivable. A girl told me she didn't like it and asked what it was. When I replied Unforgivable, she responded, Oh, that's definitely unforgivable. When I was pretending to be the old lady, I think I like made myself look all red now, I match my shirt. So this girl, obviously a comedian with that witty comeback, amazing off the top of her head, genius. Of all the fragrances I would think of as being just utterly disgusting to somebody potentially, this is not one of them. It's kind of a Millicene Imperial-ish type scent. Pretty easy to wear, pretty easy to like you would think. But again, goes to show that sometimes even fragrances that are made for mass appeal are not gonna work for everyone. Up next, we got one from Nick, who is a member. Shout out, Nick. Worst, Prada Loam. A lady said I smelled like an aunt in her 60s and that she had women's fragrances that smelled more masculine than this one. Oh, that hurts my soul. Oh. 
Yeah, so Pratolome, Iris fragrance, you know, it's got that powdery feel to it, typically heralded as one of the better office fragrances for men on the market nowadays, designer wise. And she just hit you with the, the no scope headshot on that one. I don't know how much you can recover there. Not only did she hit you with, you smell like an aunt who's in her 60s, so you just got double smashed. Then she followed it up with the burn, just sealing the deal. I have women's fragrances that smell more masculine than that. You basically got banished to the shadow realm. Up next, we got one from Jay. The first unisex marketed fragrance I ever wore was CK1. It was gifted to me when I was 18. Then a big, hairy, loud New York Yankee guy said, dude, you smell like a This is rough on so many levels. CK1 was just enormously hyped at one point, everybody had it, everybody. Guys, girls, didn't matter. So you get gifted the fragrance, it's super popular, you're 18, so you're like, all right, like this is nice. I got this uh, hyped up fragrance, I'm gonna wear this, I'm gonna smell awesome. I'm imagining some huge Guido-ish New York guy, you know, no sleeves on, big hairy shoulders, New York Yankees cap. Gotta say, it's probably a confidence destroyer. Next up, we got Flex Luthor, love the name. His worst was Starry Night. Sprayed it on in his room and walked into his living room when he had company over. Everyone started groaning and asked me to open the doors and windows. I think it's just because of how strong it is, not the actual fragrance. I've been there before too, you know, trying to tell yourself, no, I'm sure they like the fragrance. I just probably sprayed it too much. I'm sure they like the way I smell. I smell good. I know I smell good. I paid a lot of money for this. Sometimes, nah, they just don't like the fragrance. And when you spray on too heavy, it exacerbates the problem. This has got to be one of the worst things possible though. When you're so confident, you know, you spray on this fragrance, especially an expensive one or a niche fragrance, and you're thinking to yourself, man, I smell so unique. I smell awesome. People are gonna love this. And then you come out to where everybody is, you know, you expect this kind of uh, welcoming where people go, wow, what do you have on? What is that? How much is it? Where can I get it? And instead everyone goes, oh. Open a window, <laughs> please. Not the reaction you were going for. Next up, we got Whoop De Woo was wearing effing fabulous by Tom Ford with Lost Cherry. So doing a little bit of layering and a young dude asked me if I put on baby powder. Soon after, another young brother said, you smell <laughs> like a hotel manager. Somewhat evened out, but smelling like I changed the diaper kind of down to my spirits. Ah, I love that. You smell like a hotel manager. Something about that, the creativity of all the different things that you could be compared to uh, smelling as a hotel manager. But yeah, it's probably not how you wanted to come across as a hotel manager that smells like you just got through changing some diapers. Next up, we got CJ. Let's see what happened here. Worst experience was wearing Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. I got told I smell like the mall. Well, to be fair, uh, you did smell like the mall. For me, I don't know if that would be a really bad experience. Maybe you really hate associations with the mall, but Fierce is so prevalent and was so prevalent. Anytime you got near an Abercrombie and Fitch store, and most of those were in malls, that it's just burned into many people's memories and minds. If you smell Fierce, oh, you're back at the mall. He also says he met his wife wearing Ultra Mall, but doesn't say if that was uh, one of the best experiences. I'm going to assume it was. Then we've got Logan. His worst experience was wearing black Aoud. People said I smelled like a funeral and didn't understand why I wore it. Yeah, Montal again. As far as niche fragrances, specifically more affordable niche fragrances go, Montal is consistently going to give you some of the worst reactions from just everyday people. I should clarify, not all Montals, not all of them, but some of those ouds that they have, they're not gonna be very pleasant for people. So Black Oud was obviously a little, little too dark for this person, a little, a little too funky for them. That is an interesting way to be told something though. Why do you wanna smell like a funeral? Like, like literal death. Why, why do you wanna do that? Unless maybe you were one of those like uh, tech goth ravers, maybe that would work. Just be out there under a bridge spraying on tons of Montal and hitting some moves. Last up, we got BP Wool, classic YouTuber, classic fragrance YouTuber. His worst, a female coworker told him that he smelled like an old lady putting on makeup in an old house. You got hit with the trifecta. Not only are you the old lady, 
You were also in the old house, so you have double old, I guess, and then makeup. Because you always gotta throw that in there. If you're gonna diss a guy, makeup. Oh no. Later in the day, a stink bug was walking towards me in the break room. I imagine this stink bug just eyeing you up and kind of slowly moving over. The same lady says, that stink bug is walking towards you because of your stinky cologne. The fragrance was Montal. Steam Oud. Out of the 10 that we talked about today, three were Montal. This one I especially like because not only did you get hit with that trifecta initially when she was trying to put you down and make you feel bad for wearing a Montal, which come on, quit shaming people for wearing what they want to wear. Don't be like that. But not only did you get hit with that first trifecta of disses, then a stink bug decides to, to tag in and help with the dissing by slowly meandering toward you and allowing this lady to go ahead and load up another burn that she shot your way. Thanks, stink bug, douche. Gotta say, based off what we talked about here today, wearing uh, certain Montals around groups of people maybe should be discouraged. Unless you're looking to get a little bit of uh, heat thrown your way and then go for it, man, knock yourself out. And I guess I'll end with a story of my own, one that I've told before, but one that still strikes me to my bone. Uh, one time at the office, again, a lot of the worst comments I've gotten have been from there. Really good ones from there too, but oh, some bad ones. So the fragrance was Tom Ford Noir Eau de Parfum, a little carded sample. I sprayed it on before work and uh, got there. I was working a little while. And I decided to myself, let's go ahead and spray it on again, you know, get that opening again and, and kind of take it in. And I went ahead and sprayed it on again, little, little sample spray, you know, tiny sprays, only a few of them. And I swear to you, not within 30 seconds of spraying that somebody who had to be 15, 20 feet away, they picked up on it. They smelled it right away. They didn't know it was me because I was sitting in a cubicle at the time, this was years ago. And I can still remember them saying, who smells like a dirty used up whore? And uh, it, it was me and there was no escape because once they started talking about it, everybody decided to start talking about it. I have never wanted to shrink and escape faster than that moment. It taught me a valuable lesson. Sometimes with certain fragrances, uh, you don't need to reapply it. Just, just leave it alone. So there we go, guys. Some of your worst experiences and one of my own. I'll try to do this again in the future, get some more from you guys and, and go through some horror stories and maybe some positive ones in the future as well. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.